This is Lesson 8 of the Subnetting.net video series on how to subnet. This lesson covers answering subnetting question type 3. For an explanation of the three subnetting question types, go to Lesson 6. Now here's Kevin demonstrating with an example. What subnet mask would you use for the 172.31.0.0 network such that you could get 3,540 subnets and 10 hosts per subnet? The first step is to determine the classful mask, in this case slash 16. Next we'll find the required mask. We have to find the first number in our cheat sheet that has a value above 3540 in the block size exponent column. In this case that is 4096. So we have to add 12 subnet bits to allow more than 3540 subnets. Slash 16 plus 12 equals slash 28. That is our answer. To confirm we have enough host bits, we could take the total bits, which is 32, and subtract our 28 network bits, which leaves us with 4 host bits. So with our slash 28, we will have 4,096 subnets with 14 hosts per subnet. The last step is to convert the shorthand mass to decimal. We will start at slash 24 and work our way up. 25, 26, 27, 28. We can see our decimal mass value is 240. Plug that into the fourth octet and we get our answer. 255, 255, 255, 240. Just to make sure it's clear, we're going to change the question slightly. What subnet masks could you use for the 172.31.0.0 network such that you can get 1,000 subnets and 15 hosts per subnet? Notice this question uses the word masks, plural, implying there is more than one correct answer. We can start by solving this the same way we did for the previous question. This is a class B address, so our default subnet mask is slash 16. So let's try to find a subnet mask that will satisfy 1,000 subnets. The first power of 2, which is greater than 1,000, is 1,024, which corresponds to 10 bits. Our default mask has 16 bits, plus 10 more bits equals 26. This should be one of our answers, but let's confirm. 32 total bits minus 26 bits equals 6 host bits. For subnets, we have 10 bits, which means we can have 1,024 subnets. And that's enough. With 6 host bits, we can have 2 to the 6th minus 2, or 62 hosts. And that is enough. So now let's convert our shorthand to decimal notation. Counting up, we start with 24, then 25, 26. And our subnet mask for the interesting octet is 192. Since 26 is between 24 and 32, we know we are in the 4th octet, so our decimal mask is 255.255.255.192. But maybe there are more correct answers to this question. We had 10 subnet bits and 6 host bits. Let's try 11 subnet bits and 5 host bits. Since 10 subnet bits was enough, then any higher number of subnet bits will be high enough too, so we don't even need to test the subnet bits. In other words, if 1024 is high enough to make 1000 subnets, then 2048 will also be high enough. But since we are decreasing the number of host bits, we do need to check that. With 5 bits, we can have 2 to the 5th minus 2 hosts, which equals 32 minus 2 or 30 hosts. That is still high enough. Now let's try 12 subnet bits and 4 host bits. 2 to the 12th is 4096, and 2 to the 4th minus 2 equals 14. This does not work because we need at least 15 hosts per subnet. Therefore, our correct answers are limited to slash 26 and slash 27. Converting to decimal notation, we have 255.255.255.192 and 255.255.255.224. And those are our two answers.
This is the end of Lesson 8, which showed you how to answer subnetting question type 3.